Hello, and thank you for joining me for the Vampire Talk Show. I'm your host, Valaine. Val to my friends. My roommate discovered my coffin under the concrete floor of the basement in her new house and woke me up from a hundred year nap. Now I'm reconnecting with old friends, making new ones, and of course, making a podcast. Tonight, I have an interesting guest. But first, let me just talk about something real quick. Uh, Technology has made some amazing leaps and bounds since the 1920s. The internet has been quite handy in getting me up to speed in the 21st century. And you can take the internet wherever you want to go. At any moment, you can look up an answer to a question. There are some drawbacks to this, however. For example, when at a Ceylon with a group of friends before the days of the internet, one had to argue their point without the help of the World Wide Web. Who played the leading lady in the film It? The 1927 silent film, not the scary clown movie. Was it Clara Bow or Louise Brooks? One had to argue based on personal experience and fact. Now, now there isn't even a discussion. If one wants an answer to a question, you don't pull a room, you pull out your phone. And usually it's trivial information. Any answer you want to scientific advancements, the names of solar systems, survival techniques, cultural studies, and you want to ask what timeline the next Marvel movie is going to be in. Also, I feel the need to say, what is it with cats? Don't get me wrong, I love a cat, I love the cats I live with, and any silly little four-legged creature I happen across. However, I feel the internet was built specifically for the worship of cats. We've gone from worshipping cats in ancient Egypt to worshipping cats all over the globe via a Wi-Fi connection. Well, I have some news for you cult followers of the feline form. I hear that not all cats are actually from this planet. Sorry to tell you, there is a species of extraterrestrial that looks very similar to a house cat. They sneakily come to Earth and embed themselves into the lives of cat-loving humans and voila, they don't have to do a thing and are taken care of for life. I read about the universal cat distribution system from my friend Keelan on their Twitter. They said that The universe likes to dole out cats to those who can take care of them. Well, yes and no. That universal cat distribution system that is so fond of putting cats in the way of well-meaning humans is intentional. Not every cat, but some are aliens. A kitten walking directly up to a human and inserting itself into their lap? Absolutely, of the feline alien variety. So, which do you have? An alien? A cat? If your animal brings you pleasure, does it really matter? Just make sure they're not hell-bent on world domination. Oh, well that's cats anyway, isn't it? Anyway, tonight, my guest is an adorably sad little thing. You would know them from their trail of shed tears and whimpering sounds. Please welcome Squonk. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Are you are you okay? You you have so many no, tears just streaking really. down your cheeks. <laughs> I'm never really okay. No. Poor <laughs> thing. <laughs> so I, I have to I have to ask. Um uh do you know of, of the uh, the alien cats of which I spoke earlier? I didn't know they came in another kind. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Apparently, um, yes. Uh, one of my extraterrestrial pals told me that there is a species of alien cat. It's in- incredible. Um, but uh, you look quite troubled um so squonk uh where where are you from originally uh well probably the desert 
I don't really know. Uh, but there's a lot of migrating happening with, with my species. Um, mainly just to stay away from other people. But uh, I kind of mostly just hang out in the woods in Pennsylvania. Oh. In the dark. Oh, you poor thing. May I ask, um, uh, why are you so sad all the time? I am disgusting. I am horrific looking. I can't stand it. My skin. I have sensory issues. It's so horrible. Oh, oh my! You I just, I just need to be alone. I don't. I can't stand the thought of anyone looking at me or perceiving me in any way. Oh no, <laughs> you poor thing. I mean, I will say, you're. You're not completely unattractive. Um, you know, I, I see that, yes, you you kind of resemble one of those hairless cats, um, one of those sphinx cats, but um, okay. not as feline, more pig-like, maybe. But um, I wouldn't say that you are a lost cause, darling. Um, That's a kind compliment. <laughs> I try, I try. Um, I pull no punches, but I also try to give no shit. Um, so, uh, have you had, um, previously, have you uh, had any happy moments in your life that you could point to? Oh, man. Happy moments. One time I was um, able to to turn right and i don't know how i did it but i've been tr i've been chasing that high ever since uh unfortunately all of my left legs are webbed but none of my right ones are so i spend most of my time going in circles um but that one right turn man i'll never forget it oh my goodness i had no idea i i was wondering why uh every time uh you were making your way up the stairs you had to turn left in order to make a right turn um it was very uh new jersey of you um yes three lefts often do make that one right but yes. it's very tired yes um how terrible um have you ever thought about getting maybe corrective surgery about it well that would require daylight and having to talk to someone and they're just going to be so up close to me looking right at me. I don't know if I can really deal with that. I mean, most of the time people don't know if I'm coming or going. My ass looks just like my face or I don't even know if it's the opposite. I don't know, man. I just don't think I have it in me to, to get help for this. I'm, I, I like being alone. It's fine. The darkness is, is pretty chill. As as a, a fellow nocturnal uh, creature, um, I would agree. I quite like the dark. Um and it is concealing. Um, and it's it's great for, for hunting and, and whatnot when I need to feed. Um, speaking of which, uh, what is uh, what does your diet consist of? I've always wanted to know. Um, scabs, boogers, um, just, you know, like that, like wet stuff that's like not quite mold that is on the underside of like logs when you lift them up to try to find your friends but they all run away because you're so ugly so I just kind of like whatever like that moisture is down there I kind of just like taste it uh -huh. um, oh. a lot of um, salt I can like usually score a pretty sweet salt lick out in the woods sometimes um, but you keep need my that for your tears off. yes I imagine <laughs> you get depleted pretty quick because yeah. you know of all the crying right right um I, uh, you know, I, while doing research on the internet about uh, the 20th and 21st century, I, I came across this culture that I think you might fit into. Um, have you heard of emos? I, you know, I have. I've heard of it. It's like... I've heard the, the sounds coming from, like, cars passing by. Um, they're usually, like, on their way to Ohio for some reason. Um, but, like, 
yeah, I'm, I'm into it. And I feel like I could be accepted by that group, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe grow some hair, like bangs or something. I don't know. I I don't. I'm like I'm afraid to go see these people, but I think from a distance, uh, they might be okay with me. Yeah, they might appreciate your your um your melancholy because they are also melancholic, and um, you know, uh, are you able to grow hair or do you do you shave everywhere? Um, it just, just, you know, it, it grows, um, not like all in one spot though, where it would be helpful. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of everywhere. Um, and the places where I don't have it is just cause I'm like rubbing all around and wiggling all around because sometimes the the crying gets a little, you know, full body sometimes oh, um yes. so, so it's, it's like a, a rub a rub off sort of a thing but mm. uh yeah well you might want to um maybe invest in a uh uh a wig perhaps like one of those wigs and and then you can have a a swoop of hair across your forehead into one eye because that seems to be the look and then maybe spike it up in the back and whatnot. Do you, have you ever worn a wig? I have never worn a wig, but I feel like sometimes I daydream about when um, the people that live in the neighborhood down at the bottom of the hill, they go on vacation and I go down there and um, look through their trash and stuff when they're not home. Um, and I go and break in and, um, their drains are so full of like all kinds of hair and like I feel like what a fun craft project that would be to like you know really make something out of it I have so much time on my hands I would just love the drain gunk and the hair and so what do you do like what do you make with the 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 drain hair I would use mud, probably. Mm-hmm. Put it on my head. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, I think that 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 works. Um, that's um, um, quite quite a, a visual that you uh um just gave me. Um, so yeah. do you have a habit of breaking into other people's homes then? <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's like I said, I'm always alone and I, sometimes I get bored of mm. just crying and walking in circles, but uh so when people are gone or they're not paying attention, I'll I'll go in there and see what what's going on. Mm. Um I saw saw these emos before too and like I know why they cry. Like those pants are so tight. Uh, it's just really not fair. I don't know who's doing this to them, but but yeah, I understand why they cry. Yeah, I I I believe uh, tight pants would make anyone cry. However, I think they do it to themselves. Um, I'm pretty sure it's part of the whole fashion thing. Um, but uh, I I don't know. Maybe they're just masochistic. Um, how? Uh, so what do you have other craft projects that you'd like to do with um <laughs> any sort of other bodily things? Well, I like bubbles a lot. So um I I can produce my own, but it's like such a process and usually it's like I don't have control over it. It's only if, you know, somebody sneaks up on me, I kind of just dissolve into bubbles and tears because it really gets me and like I said before I have serious sensory issues and I really hate when that happens but I do love bubbles so you know sometimes I find sticky stuff or like some gooey stuff Mm -hmm. or whatever and I play with bubbles oh fantastic well um Actually, uh, I think I have a thing of bubbles around here. Let me see. Oh, yes. Here we go. Uh, it's like one of those childlike things. Let's see. How's this for you? 
Oh my god. You like that? Oh my god. That make you happy. Is that what that is? Yeah. Happy? Yes. Um, here, let's let's do another. <sighs> oh. Oh. Now, you... Oh, my elbows are tingling. It's almost like a right turn. Oh. <laughs> so, um, you can produce your own bubbles. Uh, and so you dissolve into bubbles and tears when you're snuck up on a pond. Do you... And then do you write yourself again? Or is this like uh, a permanent um, transformation? So, like, if it happens, technically I'm dead, right? So oh. it sucks. But luckily, um, you know, we just reproduce through binary fission. So, like, every little droplet of goo is a new one of me. So, you know, I guess good for me, bad for whatever I don't know but yeah so I don't know how many of me there are out there you know it's like if you replace every board in the ship is it still the same ship who oh, knows very good question. all these existences are pretty miserable man <laughs> so every timeline is the darkest timeline for you um my goodness uh so you don't know how many there are of you out there. So you are squonk and there are many squonk out there. That is you yeah. technically because of the last time that you dissolved into a puddle. Yeah. The primordial soup basically. <laughs> yeah. Squoop. Squoop? Is sure. that is that the the term for for when you are a puddle is squoop? I think that's what I'll call it. Yes, that's fantastic. Um, so, squonk, when you squoop, you actually multiply. Um, how uh, very um, uh, gizmo of you. Um, <clears throat> it's like a tadpole gazpacho. <laughs> that's like the slimiest description I've ever heard. <laughs> um so Salty. is there anything that you do to like get yourself out of these uh, sad little ruts? Is there anything that makes you truly happy? I know a right turn feels really nice, but is there anything that you do to try and keep your spirits up? Um, mostly, um, you know, in the springtime, just like at dusk when it's finally about to be my time to move about freely mm -hmm. all the little chirping noises of the frogs that's very calming for me oh yeah that's very nice very tranquil very tranquil um interesting squonk you strike me as as a sad creature however you seem like you want to be happy you seem like you are on the lookout for happiness is there like some sort of like hobby or career or anything that you want to try in order to make yourself happy like what is your dream for your life I'd always wanted to ride a bicycle you've always wanted I don't know if it's possible but yeah I've seen them they seem so freeing they do they do um uh, i myself have never ridden a bicycle uh however i i believe you can um i mean you do have legs and i mean are your arms legs as well are you four-legged or bipedal unfortunately i'm four-legged uh, and so sometimes my um one of my back legs is like transparent um and then like when it goes transparent it kind of like it, it it's it disappears so I can't use it it just feels like static um so and I don't know when that's going to happen either or why it happens but um I don't have hands oh yeah hands are kind of essential for 
for bike riding. Maybe yeah. we can find some sort of artificer and and create a squonk bike. Um, if anybody listening can make a squonk bike, um, please submit your design to the vampire talk show at gmail.com for our friend squonk. Um, uh, so we'll work on the bike thing um, for sure <laughs> and try and get you on a bike because I just looking at your your sad little face I just want to give you whatever you want like if you were to ask me for 50 bucks I would probably give it to you you're so kind I don't know why you can't ride a bike I know they think your vagina will fall out if you do but but that's not how it is in the year of our lord 2024 Mm, yes it'll stay in if you if you will it to stay in your body it will i believe that and i believe in you (laughs) um so do you so you're talking to me now you're in the studio thank you for coming in i know it was difficult getting up the stairs um because uh you had to walk to the right so um Uh, is there anybody else that you talk to, uh, regularly? Like, uh, are there any other, like, cryptids or, um, animals or humans or anything? Mm, I try to stay away from humans, really. I don't Um, blame you. (laughs) Yeah, they're not the best. No. Um, but, you know, I'm, like, in the summertime, um, there's, like, a... A big festival. Mm-hmm. Um, then they named it after me. What? What festival? Yeah. And where is this festival? Um, I think it's in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. So you know, down on like bottom left, um, sort of middle left. I don't know. Uh, it's like kind of nothing a nothing town so of course they would have a party named after me like whatever I guess um but like I get I like going down there because people like dress in costume and like people don't know that it's me but I'm there so it doesn't feel like anyone's looking at me so I don't turn to liquid it's kind of enjoyable it's like the one day a year that I get to be around other people um and not hate myself oh well that feels fantastic i bet um uh wow a festival in your honor um that that must feel kind of good right i mean it's weird i mean all people do is just like walk down the street and make fart noises but um i mean it's like a a community event there's like a funnel cake or whatever Mm -hmm. um but yeah mostly it's fart noises Mm -hmm. but that's all right Hmm. Um, and, uh, so there's, there's food and walking around and, uh, and that's it for, for the festival, huh? Yeah, it is Johnstown, like I said. Oh, yes, yes. Um, when is this festival? I'm, I'm interested to go, I think. Um, I think it's in the, um, the, the latter, the latter end of the summertime as mm. the humans seem to call it. I don't know. They do this calendar system, but um, sometimes just like all the days bleed into one. And I don't know. I thought today was Tuesday. But um, anyway, I think August is what they say, but who knows? Mm. Well, I have to look it up and see when uh, the Squonk uh, Festival is so that... I can go and maybe uh, we can hang out or, or something. Um, of course, I can't yeah. during the day. Do they have nighttime activities for this festival? Totally. Totally. Are you okay with incandescent? Um, yes. I'll probably just wear a lot of makeup. So. Oh, sweet. Can you teach me how to make a wig? Yes. Oh, yes. Um, actually, I have a few wigs, and so does uh, my producer, Allie. Um, actually, I think I have a few up here. 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 This one is a curly brown-haired wig. It, it kind of looks like that gentleman from Elf. I love... <laughs> 
I love that gentleman. You love um, uh, the gentleman from Elf. Um, yes. Uh, he seems to embody everything I'm not. Very joyful, yes. Um, maybe maybe it's the hair. Well, here, let's let's put this wig on you. Oh, it's itchy. Oh, is it itchy? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, but you look cute. Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, you do look like a sad clown a little bit, but um, <laughs> yeah, let's pop that off your head here. Um, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me give you a scratch behind the ears there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, you are moist. That is yeah. weird. That is very weird. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't yeah. mean to just touch you there, but it just, that was... Okay. Uh, I give you full consent. Who oh, could? Well, no worries because I don't think I'll be touching you again. <laughs> no offense, but I have a weird thing about uh, moist skin. It just yeah, clamminess is weird. not my thing. Uh, weirdly hot. Yes, yes. It's like you hot and, and clammy at the same time. I don't know, man. Like you just came out of a steam room or something. <laughs> Well, my den is is pretty hot and moist with all of the crying that I do in mm. there and in the mouth breathing and the crying. I would have better skin with all of the steam facials and salt masks, but, you know, yes. I, I don't. I look like shit. I, weirdly red-faced and sweaty, yes, but um, I I don't think you look like shit um to quote you um there is uh this weird cuteness about you you know how like something can be so ugly it's cute like a pug oh yeah i've heard that that's a good one i wish i looked like a pug uh, yeah i mean it would help probably but um i i do i do think there is some sort of cuteness about you maybe maybe if you just put on a little bit of of rouge maybe and uh maybe some eyeliner oh well not eyeliner because that would just run down your face wouldn't it no some guys like that look though those guys are um terrible if that's the thing they're into (laughs) if the thing that turns them on is a crying (laughs) it's a crying person (laughs) A crying female at that, um, then uh, they are trash. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. Oh, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I I was totally alluding to a different innuendo uh, with a watery eye, but. <laughs> the abusers are trash. <laughs> uh, no need to cry now. No need to cry. Um, you poor thing. Just, um, I'm constantly lubed up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so in in a typical day for you, um. Because I, I'm just trying to figure out what you do with your time. Because it, it seems like you have no dreams or aspirations besides turning right and riding a bicycle. Um, do you want to do anything else with your life? Like, do you want to travel? Or do you want to perform? Or do you want your own podcast? <laughs> uh, I do. You know, I've been told I have... um a face for radio so i could probably do a podcast um you did forget to mention the bubble thing though because i'm I'm really serious about the bubbles um but really um not a ton of dreams and aspirations when like i don't know what my future holds i don't know how much time i have who knows uh when some stupid human man is gonna sneak up behind me and then I have to burst into a bunch of particles of salt and slime Mm -hmm. and and then and then 
who knows how many more of me that are going to get scattered about and then I have to do it all over again. But I do understand the irony in what I'm saying. I should probably be living life to its fullest because I don't know when I'm going to burst into bubbles and tears. I mean, I think everyone should live their life like a squirrel. I think that is fair. Like, um, I, you know, they always say, always live uh, as if you're dying. And, uh, well, and mortals, they are dying all the time. But if you live your life as squonk, um, where you could burst into bubbles and, and, and tears at any moment, um, yes, I believe uh, that is something that needs to go on a T-shirt. Live, laugh, love is out. And... Live your life like you're going to burst into a million pieces of bubbles, tears, and slime at any moment. Oh, slime too. Mm. Oh, yeah. It gets real you know, I'm really moist and like, it's just, it's kind of like snot, but not really. Yes. Um, I think Have I you got ever touched the heel? <laughs> ever touched a, an eel yeah uh yes unfortunately um uh, at one point i have touched an eel and and i think that's something that i was recollecting when i was touching you on your head um because it yes it's got kind of a slickness yeah. to it that is a little bit disconcerting yeah sorry to bring up that trauma Oh, no, you're fine. Um, it wasn't quite trauma. Um, it was just unpleasant is, you know, yeah. um, there's yeah. really an extreme about you. It's, it's, you're more of just kind of a, uh, you know, wishy washy sort of thing. I feel. Yeah. Like the waves from whence I came. Oh, so you came from the ocean. I think, I don't know. It's been so many explosions. I think all my memories kind of get divided up into each new little sliver every time with, you know, all the fission and stuff. So uh, but how old are you, you think? Me mm -hmm. or all of me? Well, so that's an interesting sort of thing. Um, I guess how long has... Squonk been around, and then how long have you yourself, the individual Squonk, been around? Um, well, I feel like we're pretty ancient. Um, so like in the southwest where it's like a desert and stuff, um, it used to be underwater, that used to be an ocean. Um, and it was pretty fucking awesome. It was cool. Um, you, sh you know, and then the, the forests got petrified and everything turned to sand and there's like salt everywhere. And I just, you know, we got to stay moist. So we had to keep moving around, you know, many thousands of years, the squonk. Yes. Our, our, I mean, I, our, our species. I've heard of Squonk uh, back in the 1920s. I just wasn't sure how far back. I think I've I've come across your kind before, but I believe I scared them into a puddle of tears. Um, so uh, it might have been you. I don't know. Um, it have been. I don't know either. But I feel like I, I you know, we had a lot. Uh, there was a lot more run-ins with uh, humans in the 20s with all of the uh, logging and whatnot that was going on mm -hmm. in our, our new chosen habitat. Mm -hmm. I hope uh, people listening, um, there is someone uh, handy out there that could build a, a bike for our friend uh, Squonk. Um, because if you dear listener, could see what I see in this tragically ugly but beautiful-souled being, you would want to make them a bike, too. Um, well, uh, <laughs> thank you, Squonk, uh, for this uh, little interview. Um, we are going to get into some paranormal gossip. <laughs> 
So time for paranormal gossip. This is just gossip that uh, is on the air about cryptids and ghosts and whatnot. And sometimes there's misconnections and sometimes there's personal ads. Um, this is just um, just a bit of gossip. Uh, the Dewey Lake Monster was seen this past weekend around its habitat of the Sister Lakes in Michigan. No one has seen the reclusive Sasquatch-like creature since the 60s, although perhaps their new hairdo is to blame for why they are now being seen. The Dewey Lake monster has been seen sporting a hot pink shock of hair from their scalp to the middle of its back. No doubt trying to fit in with today's youths. I am not above wildly colored hair or making a statement. However, if you're an ancient cryptid whose whole M.O. is to be undetected, the day-glow pink is not going to help. If you want to be seen, darling, come on out. No need for acting out and burning your ends for attention. Oh, unless it's one of those breakup hairdos one gets when they're on the outs with a partner. Hmm, I think... I think they were dating the frogman at one point. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, step away from the hair dye and get on the cryptid dating app Mythmatch. I heard that more than a few cryptids have found mates on there. I'm just saying. Are you on Mythmatch yourself, Squonk? No, I'm not, but I feel like you're inspiring me to branch out of my shell. Um, and I totally appreciate this creature coming out with their own wig. Uh, so I feel maybe more comfortable getting my own. Yes. Um, I, I think uh, maybe it is a time that, you know, you try on a few wigs or to, uh, craft your own um, out of the hair you find in people's drains. Um, however you feel, you know, best, I guess. <laughs> Those short stabby ones are like really interesting. Those short, coarse stabby hairs. Uh, those are my favorite. I like to chew on them. Ah, uh -huh. bite, 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 bite. It's like al dente. Uh, yeah, it's good. Oh yes. Um, your diet of of hair and moist things under logs. Um, have you ever tried? A salad or um, a, a, a bowl of tomato soup or, you know, um, anything. Swoop. A bowl of soup. Oh, no, I don't know what that is. Oh. I've never felt warm, but it sounds good to me. Oh my gosh! You know, I, I soup and being on the dating site, I think is good. I mean, I've got uh, some okay qualities. Yeah, always moist. Always moist can sometimes be a great selling point. It depends. I mean, there's someone yeah. for everyone out there, and uh, I I would be happy to help you with your profile after this interview. I would appreciate that. All right. You heard it here first. Squonk is going to be on Myth Match. Thank you, Squonk, so much for being on the show tonight. Thank you so much for having me. This has truly been a highlight of my entire existence. I, I truly feel like I've, I've turned right for the first time. Thank you. You're so very welcome, Squonk. Anytime. Um... All right, so that's it for tonight, kitties. Remember, embrace the dark, the strange, and unusual. It just may embrace you back. Thanks to Trisha Harvey for being our guest tonight. You can find her on Twitter at T underscore Rex, W-R-E-C-K-S 85 on Twitter. Um, you can also find her Etsy as PGH Park Hopper. Get yourself a pair of ears. They're really cute. Please consider becoming a Patreon member of the show. You can be a Baby Bat Sticker Club member where you get stickers every month. 
or you can be a tarot speakeasy member where you can get a tarot reading and tarot card sent to you every month. Please subscribe on patreon.com slash the vampire talk show. This has been an Opus Knox Media production. To find out more, go to opusnoxmedia.com.